This is ACT Science Passage 5. It's a data passage. We know it's data because it's only presenting charts and graphs and information. For our DRC approach, data means don't read. Maybe spend a small amount of time orienting yourself to the passage, but quickly get to the questions. The questions will generally tell you where to look. You don't have to have a deep understanding. You're going to take the R and R approach to the questions, read the question, then reread it, breaking it down step by step, which is what we're going to do together on this video. Question number 28, based on figure two, as the number of carbon atoms per CA, so that's that bottom axis, increases from one to eight, so we're going one to eight, the pH of a CA solution at 25 degrees Celsius, that's just verifying what we've seen, does what? Well, it increases and then it stays between 3.4 and 3.5. So your answer has to be J. Number 29, we're using figure one and table one and figure two. So all of them. So consider the CA re represented with a BP of approximately 165 uh, and 0.01 mole of aqueous solution, um, the pH will be approximately what? So we're looking for ultimately, so what we want to find is the pH, and that is in figure two. Now, we know that these are going to be between 3.4 and 3.5 or 2.9. So 3.05 and 3.25 are not even choices. So, and if we're just taking a guess, we're going to go 3.4. It's the most likely option because that's where most of them are, right? It's either 2.9 or 3.4. If we're taking a guess, we'd do 3.4. Let's work it out, though. So we're going to start and go through the process. Has a uh, boiling point of approximately one of approximately 165. Okay, so that's this spot right here. That means it has a molecular mass just below 90, which would put it here at butonic acid, 88. So butonic acid, 88, has how many carbon atoms? Four. So that means it's going to be at around 3.4 D. Number 30, based on table one and figure one, we're looking at pentanoic acid at 200 degrees boiling point. So we're gonna put this in a 200 degrees atmospheric uh, condition, right? So pentanoic acid has a molecular mass of 102. So that means it is here, it's that dot. So its boiling point is going to be less than 200, right? It will boil at around, looks like 180, okay? So what happens? Knowledge, the boiling point is when liquid turns to gas. So we expose it to 200 degrees Celsius temperatures, it will boil and turn to a gas. Okay. If nothing else, you can get rid of choice F and H because 200 degrees is not lower than the boiling point of pentanoic acid. We can see that it's below 200, right? 200 is above that, right? The pentanoic acid is below 200, it's right here. So it is going to be, though, a gas because. 200 degrees Celsius is higher than the boiling point of pentanoic acid. 31, based on table one and figure one, the boiling point of ethanoic acid is approximately how much lower or higher than the boiling point of hexanoic acid? So we're going to say ethanoic acid. I want to write that. Ethanoic acid or ethanoic, however you say it, is. Okay, so ethanoic is, because I want to make sure I'm saying that one as opposed to hexanoic when I start dealing with numbers. So ethanoic acid has a molecular mass of 60, puts it have having a boiling point, uh, 120-ish, 125 maybe. We're going to say 120, okay? And then hexanoic acid has a molecular mass of 116, a little over 200, 205 maybe. So 205 minus 120 is 85. Ethanoic acid is 85 lower than hexanoic acid. So your answer has to be A.
Number 32, we're using table one and figure one. And we have italicized words. Italicized words in a question is new information. You haven't seen it before. So consider decanoic acid based on figure one, what would the boiling point most likely be? So we have, we can look at this number, right? You can see the numbers all go up two, three, four, five, six, eight, which means decanoic acid is going to be the next one down, right? And so we see our molecular mass continues to increase, which means if we follow the chart, it's going to continue to increase as well. So it's going to be greater than 255 because octan octanoic acid was right at 250 almost, just below it, 245. So greater than 255. J. Another italicized information, the empirical formula in a compound is the chemical formula, formula that shows the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element in the compound. Based on table one, what is the empirical formula of octanoic acid? This one's a little bit tricky because you have a simplest whole number ratio. So let's count how many carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens we have. So we have eight carbons, 16 hydrogen, and two oxygen. Well, that's a ratio. Divide each of those in half, you get a four to eight to one ratio. We want the simplest ratio, which is gonna be choice A. If you're not paying attention, you're going quickly, you might choose C or D. Um, if you're paying attention, it's a little harder to choose C or D because if you count each one and you realize something's wrong, but if you're going fast, you might choose the wrong one. Here's our answers along with the reporting categories. We don't have any scientific investigation questions in this particular passage. Reach out if you have any questions and our silly chemistry joke to end this one with. What did the chemist say when someone threw sodium chloride at him? He shouted, that's assault. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day.